So I want you to think of MOTC as a mitochondrial signaling peptide. And what's cool about that is it's going to actually translocate from the nucleus of the mitochondria into the cytoplasm of the cell. And that's where it's going to have a lot of really cool benefits for us. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Greg Jones, founder and medical director of Innovative Wellness Center here in Phoenix, Arizona. I specialize in longevity medicine and peptide therapy, and I really love using peptides to help my patients improve their metabolic flexibility, improve their longevity, improve their weight, improve their energy, and overall improve their ability to reduce oxidative stress and reduce all those different impacts of the hallmarks of aging. So in today's video, we're going to talk about MOD-C, what it is and how it works, the benefits of MOD-C and some of the clinical uses of it, and why it's also gaining traction in the world of energy, fitness, and mitochondrial health. So number one, what is MOD-C and how does it work? So MOD-C stands for Mitochondrial Open Reading Frame of the 12S RNA-C. And yeah, that's a mouthful. We're just going to call it MOD-C. So what makes MOD-C different than most other peptides is actually encoded or produced in the mitochondrial DNA. And that's very different because most peptides are actually created in our nuclear DNA. So I want you to think of MOD-C as a mitochondrial signaling peptide. And what's cool about that is it's going to actually translocate from the nucleus of the mitochondria into the cytoplasm of the cell. And that's what's going to have a lot of really cool benefits for us. So when our cells are under that stress, MOD-C is going to translocate again. It's going to activate and help us with several really cool things. Number one, it's going to improve how your body uses glucose and fat. And that's why a lot of people like it for weight loss and actually body composition benefits. It's going to help enhance your mitochondrial efficiency. So again, as we age, mitochondrial function declines. And sometimes our body just needs something to help with decreasing that mitochondrial stress, reducing oxidative stress damage to the mitochondria, or just helping us make more mitochondria so we can actually have the benefits of energy and many of those really cool benefits of mitochondria. And last, a lot of people really love it for this, it's going to help support energy production at the cellular level. Because again, mitochondria, as most of us know, are the powerhouses of the cell. They help our cells make more energy. So it's like flipping a switch in the body, telling your cells to burn fuel more efficiency, build resilience and build resilience to stress and clean house, getting rid of the uh, kind of that oxidative stress and inflammation around the cells as well. So let's get into the benefits of MOD-C and why so many people love doing it in the anti-aging and biohacking and longevity space. Number one, increasing energy. And this is kind of the headline benefit for it. MOD-C improves ATP production and that's our energy currency. It's what our body uses to make energy. So a lot of times when people are on MOD-C, they're going to report more energy, better stamina, less mid-afternoon fatigue. And this is a really cool one. And I personally love it for this, feeling more energy during workouts or during athletic performance. Now, this isn't just stimulant energy. It's not like taking a pre-workout or drinking eight cups of coffee. This is more sustained cellular energy. And that's the kind that sustains you. Number two, fat loss and body composition. MOD-C is going to improve your body's ability to burn fat as fuel more efficiently and actually improve the way your body uses glucose. And that's improving insulin sensitivity. Now that makes MOD-C very powerful for a few things. Number one, helping us burn visceral fat. And as we know, visceral fat surrounds our abdominal organs and increases inflammation. And that leads to a whole host of chronic diseases. By improving metabolic flexibility and help our body improve glucose utilization or getting glucose into cells, that's going to help it improve insulin resistance. And now those two things combined are going to help your body with long-term body composition benefits, fat loss, and overall health. So let's use an analogy to talk about how your body is going to use MOD-C for that cellular metabolic flexibility. Now think of your cells as a hybrid vehicle. A lot of people are locked into this burn glucose only mode. That's gas only vehicle. MOD-C is going to help unlock hybrid mode where your body can switch between using glucose and fats efficiently for energy. Just like a hybrid car is going to toggle between using gas and electric as well. So being able to switch back and forth between fat and glucose again, that's the metabolic flexibility. And that's one of the major benefits of MOD-C. Let's get into MOD-C's benefits in longevity and anti-aging. MOD-C can improve health span and longevity by doing three key things. Number one, it's going to reduce oxidative stress, especially oxidative stress around mitochondria. Number two, it's going to activate our AMPK pathways. So think of AMPK activation as exercise mimetics. When you activate AMPK, your body's like, hey, I'm working out even when you're not. And that's going to turn on pathways that help us burn glucose efficiently. And last, and the really cool thing, is going to improve metabolic resilience under stress. This makes it a really strong candidate for anti-aging and longevity, especially for people dealing with metabolic syndrome, age-related fatigue, and chronic inflammation. So let's get into number four. Another reason a lot of people love MOD-C, improving exercise performance and exercise recovery. MOD-C has been shown to improve endurance capacity and improve muscle function. So in practice, this means better oxygen utilization, your cells using oxygen more efficiently, reducing lactic acid buildup. You know, lactic acid or lactate helps with that, kind of leads to that muscle soreness when you're training and actually faster post-exercise recovery. 
So if you're an athlete or someone who just wants to perform really well in the gym, this can give you an edge that other supplements cannot do. And number five, and this is kind of one of those underrated and not as well-known benefits, is stress resilience and cognitive support. Because Mod C improves mitochondrial function, and mitochondria are heavily involved in cognitive function, it's going to have some really cool benefits. Number one, it's going to help support mental clarity. It's going to improve focus under stress. And also, it's going to improve that neurological resilience. And it's not endotropic, and that's key to understand. It's going to improve that cellular resilience. And that's going to indirectly support cognition and brain function, especially under chronic fatigue and kind of those burnout conditions. So why are more people using Mod C and longevity protocols? And there are three main benefits that support that. Number one, it's going to mimic exercise at the cellular level, and that's going to trigger a lot of the same pathways as exercise. Number two, it's endogenous. We already make it, so your body's not going to see Mod C as some foreign substance and have these kind of negative side effects or reactions to it. And because it's endogenous, that makes it incredibly safe as well. So let's tie number two and three together. It's endogenous and very safe. It's endogenous, meaning that our body already makes it, so when you inject it, your body's not going to see it as a foreign substance. And also it has a low toxicity and a really, really cool safety profile. So a lot of people will rarely report side effects with the use of Mon-C. So why are we using it clinically? So let's go through those four main clinical uses. Number one, it's going to improve weight loss plateaus and improve body composition. Number two, it's going to improve chronic fatigue. Number three, it's going to improve insulin resistance and help treat pre-diabetic conditions. And number four, and why we really love it in my practice, really great for healthy aging and longevity protocols. Now let's talk about how it's used. Now, Mod C is typically administered as a subcutaneous injection. It's done in cycles. Now, this is key to know. Mod C is not a peptide you're going to use continuously without taking breaks. The reason being, and this is something a lot of people miss, Mod C activates another compound called ACAR. Now, it does that by the suppression of our body's folate methionine uh, cycle. And it does this by a temporary suppression of our folate cycle. So most of you may know, if you looked into MTHFR, that folate is incredibly essential for our methylation processes. We use methylation for thousands of processes in the body. So when we don't have a sufficient methylation, that can reduce DNA repair, reduce fatigue. It can actually lead to cardiovascular issues as well by an increase in homocysteine. So what you don't want to do is suppress that pathway for a very long period of time. A lot of times we only cycle Mon-C for maybe a month on, maybe two months on. Maximum, you want to take breaks so your body can restore. You don't want to use Mon-C continuously because that can have more far-ranging implications on our body's energy production, right? So it's a very kind of temporary blast of this peptide. But again, just being smart with it and understanding that. So never be on Mon-C indefinitely. You got to take breaks from it. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button so more people can find this information and also find my channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more information on peptides, longevity, and regenerative medicine. And last but not least, if you know someone struggling with energy, longevity, chronic fatigue, and cognitive function, please share this video because Mod C may be really helpful for them as well. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.